ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमात फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू सिमुलेट ए पी आई आर सेंसर विद डेट ऑफ ई एस पी थर्टी टू और सिंपली यू कैन से दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड ए मोशन डिटेक्टर सर्किट विद दी एस पी थर्टी टू वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू एग्जीक्यूट दी आई ओ टी पार्ट which is very essentially related with the sp32 but we will just interface our pir motion sensor with that of esp32 in next series we will include the iot part so first you need to write work we uh compiler so we will go and we will click on work we dot com okay so here it used to offer a lot of examples and a lot of like tutorials type things and here we have a lot of boards as well now we will click on esp32 now this our coding and circuit window on right hand side it is the circuit window and on left hand side it is the coding window now we can see that we we can click on this a uh, blue color addition sign uh, we will go and we will search for our pir motion sensor okay we will go for pir motion sensor okay where it is we have to search it out yes it is here okay so this our sensor now there are three pins like all other sensors the first pin is the vcc pin of the pir sensor and it is the vcc so it must be connected with the 3v3 or 3.3 volt pin of esp32 now the next one is the ground pin and it must be connected with the ground pin of esp32 d pin must be connected with the d4 pin of esp32 so this is the pin configuration now we will come towards the okay now we will come towards the coding okay here you can see that we have white setup and while loop functions so while setup just executes for one time while while loop executes for uh, for infinite number of times okay means that it will execute again and again so so okay now we will go for our pin mode declaration because we have connected sensor on digital pin 4 of esp32 so 4 comma input pull up okay uh we can include this one input pull up okay because uh if you want certain pull up resistors with that of pin number 4 okay you can use them out okay if you don't want it still it's okay okay no 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 more uh, like uh, it is not very much essential okay so okay input and pull up so so pin number 4 is declared as the input pin now here we will define a variable that is int a is equal to okay digital read digital read of or digital read of 4 now what is this a digital read command will just read that what is what sort of signal on pin number 4 okay that either it is 0 or 5 volt means that either these are 0 volts that is ground or 5 volts okay so int a is equal to digital read of 4 and we will write here serial dot print ln so we will write here a means that what is inside this okay that that either it is 0 or 1 so serial dot print ln will print the answer on serial monitor okay so now we will run it out and we will see that what 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 is there on serial monitor okay now it used to take certain time okay now our serial monitor is running 
it is reading 000 now we will click on PAR sensor we will click on simulate motion and now you can see that there is one okay after one it will become zero okay one means that motion has been detected okay so okay now we, we can even write if if a is equal to is equal to high then we can write motion detected okay motion detected on serial dot print sorry serial dot print ln serial dot print ln okay so here we will write motion detected motion detected okay so here if a is equal to is equal to low motion not detected okay so now we will run it out so motion not detected is here okay so when we will click on this okay on PR sensor and we will click on simulate motion now it shows motion detected and after some time it will again become zero because okay because yes because we uh, because we have okay because now we we do not use to click this simulate motion more okay so uh, for one time you can click it out and it will show us one that is motion detected and after some time again the signal will become low okay so in this way you can simulate the PIR sensor with that of ESP32. So hopefully you got the concept. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.